This is Mr. Beck does your homework. This is physics homework number 23, questions number 3 and 4. Consider the following circuit, 3.7 ohms, 5 ohms, 2.2 ohms, and a 1 volt battery. What is the current flowing through the lower resistor, answer in units of amps? Well, the current flowing through this resistor is going to be the same as the current leaving the battery. It's going to be the same as the current coming back to the battery. So I want the line current. I want the total current leaving the battery. And I know that the total current leaving the battery, so I total, according to Ohm's law, it's going to be my V total, the voltage of the battery, divided by my resistance total. Um, so that is the combined resistor of all these three. Now you might look at them and say, oh, these are all parallel to each other because they're all lined up in the same direction. But that's not the case. Parallel doesn't mean their orientation. It means um, whether the current has a choice of going through it or not. So here, the current leaves the battery, then it splits. Some of it goes this way, some of it goes this way. These two are parallel. But then that current comes back together from both those branches, and all of it has to go through this one. So what I can do is combine these two resistors as a single resistor and redraw my circuit. So I'll still have my uh, voltage source of one volt, but I, now I'm going to have a single resistor up here, and then I'm going to have a single resistor down here. To get this result, well, this one is going to be my 2.2 ohms. This one hasn't changed. But this one up top is going to be the combination of these two. So I know that 1 over R total equals 1 over 3.7 plus 1 over 5. Now, don't just do this and think you have your answer. You have to inverse the answer to get the total. So another way of writing this would be that R total equals 1 over 1 over 3.7 plus 1 over 5. When I get that, that's going to be this one. So I'll just call that, um, uh, well, I'll call that R total just because that's what I calculate here. Whatever this is goes in here. Now, how do I get the total of these two? These are in series because it goes through this resistor and it goes through this resistor without a choice. All the current goes through both of them. So I know that these are series. So if these are series, I simply add them up. So I'm going to have 2.2 plus the total resistance of these two is going to equal my equivalent resistance of the circuit. Now, why did I want to do all of that? Well, I needed to know how much current was flowing through this bottom resistor. If I have the equivalent resistance of the circuit, this is what I need to plug into here. So my total current through flowing through the circuit is going to be my battery voltage of, for me, 1 volt, divided by this equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. That will give me the current leaving the battery. That is also the current flowing through this lower resistor. So that's good, answering units of amps. For question number four, it says, what is the current through the middle resistor, this resistor here? Well, what I'm going to do there is I now know the current that leaves the battery. All of that current would flow through, because that's this one as well. That current leaving the battery is all going to flow through this resistor, this equivalent resistor. If I know the current flowing through this resistor, and I know this resistance, I can find the voltage drop from here to here, how much, how many joules per coulomb this uh, loses as it goes over that resistor. So now, using this, I can find out my current, because my I of this equivalent resistor is going to be, uh, sorry, uh, is going to be V over R. So the voltage of that resistor is going to be the current that leaves the battery flowing through that resistor, that total resistance. So that will give me the voltage. Once I know the voltage there, that is the same as the voltage here, because that's the resistor that I placed replaced these ones with. So if you know this voltage here from V equals IR, this R and this I leaving the battery, then you know the voltage here, so you know the voltage here. So once again, we can apply Ohm's law, because I need the, the current flowing, sorry, I need the voltage across, sorry, I need the current through this resistor. Now I know the voltage across that resistor, because it's the same as this, which is the same as this. That voltage divided by the resistance will give me the current through that resistor. So there, I is going to be the voltage that I got there, divided by my 5 ohms, V over R.